Hey, I'm Mike Green with uh, Peg City Grub, and today we're at Peasant Cookery with the brand new chef to cuisine, uh, yeah. Melissa Makarenko. First off, a little bit about uh, your cooking background. I was at Resto for seven years, and before that I was with Fairmont Hotels for all over Canada for about seven. And yeah, culinary school, and now I'm here. It's in three weeks, excited, pumped. Peasant Cookery has always been known as a very like farm to table, uh, very classic restaurant in the sense that everything is done in house, including a really crazy pickling program. Yeah, we do because uh, we have our charcuterie board, and uh, on there we put our pickles, pickled beans, pickled cucumbers, pickled whatever we decide. And so one of the exciting parts is uh, we get to buy local now in the season now and pickle it so it lasts the year. So it means loading 600 pounds of cucumbers and yellow beans into my little hatchback <laughs> from a farmer and, and pickling for three days. So for three days? Three days. Uh, yeah. I need 200 to 300 jars. 200 to 300 jars to, to last, last the season? To last the season, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what do we got going on right here? Some so this one was a little fun one from Summertime Fresh Farms. It was purple cauliflower and we had purple carrots. And uh, so I just did a little fun one to see if it would, what it do. And then we do our pickles and our yellow beans. So those are our pickles. And these are pickles, so these are last year? These years? are from last year. Like this is a classic ferment, like yeah. salted. What, what do we have going on in here? Um, so it's a spice blend. Mm -hmm. About, there's got cloves and cinnamon and bay leaf and garlic and mustard and a little secret ingredient that I won't tell right. you about. And some fresh dill wheat, like when it flowers, it's a lot stronger smelling and it'll hold up to pickling. And then the fun part, not so fun part, is filling it and jamming it full of whatever you're going to pickle. You'll be making some uh, menu changes for the fall. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. that's what the exciting part is. So I'm gonna bring it more to the honest food from the land. That's gonna be our concept. And so local farmers, local, everything I can bring in local, and then it'll create more of a flexible menu. So it'll change based on the products that I can bring in. Okay. So it's not a daily, but it'll change based on our products and continue our great standing with our local proteins that we use. And so this dish, we're going to bring chicken livers, but it's my favorite way to have them with a little bit of brandy and peppercorn. So we're going to make that. And yeah, that'll be one of the new things on the menu. So, so I'll get us started. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to get a little bit of oil in the pan. I've got my chicken livers. And so these are obviously local, you were saying as well? Yeah, these are from Done Right. They're local chicken livers. And I just like to give them a little bit of a breading. And is that just a straight up flour dusting? Yeah, it's just nice flour. I don't want to change all the flavors. I'm going to just pan sear them. We might have to move to another burner. And say if you're cooking chicken livers at home, what are you looking for for doneness? Is there like a like a like a it's like a medium pest. rare it's kind a medium of rare. Yeah. yeah so when you kind of break it open it's got a little bit of like juices yeah. flowing but then it's not too gray it's nicely pink yeah. and it's got a nice like squish to it. So while that's browning, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shallots and my peppercorn. Everything that we're gonna do here, we make in house. Right. And so like these pickles, they go with our shark boards. We even make our own salamis. Yeah. And Genoa's and Copa's. And we make them all in house and cure them here so that everything we can get local and then bring it to the table. Just experiment Just, and have yeah. fun with what Manitoba can offer. And of course, one of the great things here about the charcuterie is you can have it outside on the patio. Oh yeah. There's a really beautiful patio. It yeah. overlooks Old Market Square. Yeah. Get yourself a drink, a glass yeah. of wine. A nice glass of wine, delectable, sit and share with a friend or two. Oh, it's just, it's gonna be done. It's just done so right. I just love it. And that was the brandy? That was brandy. And heavy cream. cream. And I got a little bit of au jus here. And we're just gonna let it cook out a little bit. I'm not, you know, and I think just bringing it back to uh, just honest food. I think that, that it's just, you can taste our heart a little bit more. Yeah. You know? And then we just make everyone's, every time someone comes here, they're going to walk away feeling like it was such a great meal, great experience, 
and know that there's people back here loving the food. So. Yeah, well, and you're supporting so much of the local economy and yeah. doing so by... Por and that's what's so important. We need to stick together here and bring Manitoba forward. Yeah, so I'm very excited. Always important is a little nub of butter. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't be a... I'm a French flair chef, so I like a little bit of butter, a little bit of brandy and things. This is what you're looking for where it's a little juicy coming out of it, but it's still a little soft when you when you touch it and it's quite pink. Because you don't want to overcook the liver. You want it nice and medium rare. All right, so we have our freshly made chicken livers right here. Yep. And uh, what, what, what's the focaccia we got? So we have a rosemary focaccia. Um, coming here, I've learned a new technique of bread, and we actually let it ferment for about three to six hours in the day. It allows the flowers to really release their nice flavor a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice texture-wise. For a lot of people like who don't like liver because they think it is super irony, the chicken liver really isn't like compared to like a calf's liver oh, or yeah. a beef liver, right? The, the chicken liver is a lot more delicate. Yeah. And uh, it's a little bit more welcoming. Mm -hmm. You can try just a little bit and. Yeah, it's got an interesting texture, right? Because mm -hmm. a bit, you know, a bit more firm on the outside, and the inside is still quite creamy. Yeah, yeah, and the peppercorns give that nice, peppery li liveliness and not so heavy. And then one of the uh, famous charcuterie here. Mm hmm. So uh, we have various kinds. You kind of want to run us through what's going so on here? These, uh, all of this we make in-house. We have our country pate and our chicken liver mousse. We make our own duck prosciutto. Mm. So we hang it for 90 days and cure it in salt. Um, we have our salamis that we run, a soprasada, diablo, and a jalapeno. And those we, I think we cure them for about 90 days as well. And then this is our pastrami pork tongue. Ah, and then, like, of course, our house-made pickles. And Perfect. these ones were made last year. Mm. It's really just, good. It's kind of like the good homestead days where you, everything you, you got from the land, mm -hmm. and then you just made it its honest flavor, yeah. which makes it the best. You know? And we're lo really looking forward to growing that and seeing what we're going to do next. You know, Very excited. Yeah, me too. Mm. Well, Melissa, thank you so much oh, for this. Oh, thank you yeah, so yeah. much. Very excited.